It is a lovely sunny summer's day here in British suburbia, Harry Potter land, and I've got a box, another box from Celsius, and it seems to be, well, a little to be entertaining to, people like to be there while you're opening them up. I kind of got over the whole Christmas effect some time back, I really did, um, so how come I can leave them sealed up? And the other funny thing is, is uh, thank God, the uh, guys at Celsius are cat friendly people, because um, the last box became very enamoured of one of our cats. And another one, and it became a groovy place to hang out. Little products around of it. Not the biggest pen in the entire bloody world, but awfully close. Not from Venga, but from Victorinox. A brand who have now branched out way apart from the core product of knives and blades. Big shop in Oxford Street, keep getting promotions going. Check out clothes that won't go anywhere near me. Because they don't go up to huge fellow size. Right, I think we're done with that. Now, this is about the whole question of why are there so many kinds of speakers? Um, well, it's quite straightforward if you understand the darn bangs, but hopefully. But it isn't obvious. So what we've got is a set of speakers that I can put in and out of the test rig that's outside. But of loads of different quality levels. And we're going to try them all out have a little video um, when they do each one and hopefully sew them all together so that maybe you can tell. Whoa, what we got here? JL Audio. JL Audio Evolution C2 650X. Six and a half inch coaxials. Very nice. That's on the posher end. We got here. These are Kicker six and three quarters, the KSC six seventy. Straightforward uh, coax with lots of holes on the edges, so they can fit in lots of different colours. Oh, sorry, bash the camera. That one made a good bike if you've got headphones on. <laughs> Oh, that's some seriously big boxes under here. Oh, the packing. Oh, we go here. These look like a uh, slightly more budgety product. The kicker, 300 watt peak CSC 67. Oh, it's got a lot less uh, bright out there. The best light coming in. That's a uh, interesting looking, less expensive type product. There's some MTXs. So get my hand in there. Oink! Oink! The TR65C. I'll get a bit more light onto that. I think I'm blithering about the light. I think the screen's just dead there and it's still filming in perfect living loveliness. Um, this is their uh, 65 RMS 260 watt peak, meaning uh, this is a, uh, a head unit power inexpensive. Uh, it will bloody go, I imagine. Hey, don't prejudge them, fat boy. You're here, they're here if you can actually try them out. There's a relatively little box here. Can I get it out with one hand? <laughs> Hang on. Wait a minute. I'm walking it. I'm walking out the box. There we go. What have we got here? Slightly denser, as you can see by the handling. This is their DSC 670. Um, it says uh, 240 watts peak. They're rated at what? High performance drop-in replacement. So these are definitely about uh, flop them in the car. Whatever power you've got, they're going to be louder than that. Fits most GM vehicles and European imports may require adapters. So very American product. Oh, that's pretty happy. We've got quite a pile of speakers here. Now we've got two more pairs which are in uh, boxes too big for me to lift up on my own by one hand. Well, damage if I did. The C3650 convertible components. Oh, they sound sexy. Oh, let's see. Look. Lots and lots of tweeter housing. Because, of course, if they're convertible components, I don't think I can do that with one hand shape without damaging the packaging. I'm going to wait till we check out each one. Besides taking the speakers out themselves and that thing. This is the C5650X. Now, they've all got different prices. I'm going to have to obviously put a list on the... Um, right, I'll lift up safely. Oh, there we go. Careful, this one. I can't scuff it, snake. I don't like it. Ahead of the curve. 
Okay. The screen just blanked out completely now. It's perfectly clear I was blithering about the screen when in actual fact it was just a display. So, this is a rather more expensive set of coaxials. We're looking at they've got cast chassis, guys. Very nice. I think we're going to try them all as coaxials um, after the video, which I will link this thing to. But in the meanwhile, that's the unboxing. I've got one, two really big boxes. Three, four, five. And look at the difference in sizes um, from that massive thing to this. It's the same amount of physical... Oh, crikey, it's still quite weighty product inside there. But uh, three, four, five, six, seven different sets of loudspeakers to try all that go in the same holes how are they different more to the point why adam rayner talk audio tv